Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of In the Kitchen with your girl Fluffy K. And today I have a new video for you guys. I am going to be making oxtail. Yes, guys, the Jamaican oxtail. That's what I'll be making today. And I have already seasoned my oxtail. And what I have on my oxtail is um onion, garlic, scallion, thyme, pepper. Um I have my powder seasoning and i have ginger i have for my powder seasoning what i have is some maggie all-purpose some special jerk and some uh, um the complete seasoning i have black pepper black pepper a little salt and uh, yeah that's just it so i wash my um I wash my meat with some vinegar and clean the excess fat off it and then I add my powder seasoning and as you guys know I have a little um, blended seasoning in this and what I have blend is the onion garlic ginger pepper just the same and I just add it to it and that's just how I do it and I have some bell peppers that I have cut and placed on my meat as well so I have some browning guys so I put a little um grace browning on there and yeah this is just the Maggie all-purpose and this is some special jerk and yeah that's what I have in my oxtail and this is just um, a butter bean that I'm gonna put at the end to my oxtail after I finish cooking it so I'm gonna show you all the process I do all the process i do when i'm making this delicious meal the jamaican oxtail guys so stay with me and just see how i do my thing and please do remember guys subscribe to my youtube channel it's in the kitchen with fluffy k like comment share and leave a message and turn on your notification bell guys so yes that's it and i am just gonna get straight to my cooking because i've already seasoned my oxtail at a time and it's been marinating for like three hours i didn't have a lot of time today guys so my oxtail didn't have any long time to marinate but it doesn't matter as long as you apply your seasoning the right seasoning and you get it to the right taste that you want it's okay to just season and put it straight to the pot so um i have my pot turning my stove on guys yes yeah, so I turn my stove on and what I am about to do guys I use my pressure cooker pot because I don't have enough time and what I have to do I have to pressure the oxtail because you know oxtail is a little harder to cook than you know your regular chicken or whatever so because i don't have enough time i'll be sitting here maybe an hour and a half cooking the oxtail i don't have the time tonight so i'm just gonna throw it straight to my pressure cooker but what i'll be doing first i will be adding a little oil to my pot not too much because you know the oil there's already a lot of oil in the oxtail so you just want something to kind of grease the bottom of the pot so you just put a little bit of oil and that will be able to grease your pot so you know your oxtail can start frying instead of boiling because you know you don't want it to start boiling right away so you want to give it the chance to um you know to marinate you know and come together and start to create that juice and that thickness that you're looking for so you want to kind of give it a little fry so that's why you have to place a little oil in the bottom of the pot and then as you see i already have my seasoned oxtail and i will be placing this in the oil when it becomes hot and i will be showing you every process in making this jamaican well-known meal oxtail guys yeah so a lot of people love oxtail yes guys so this is um the oxtail in the oil 
and I'm just letting it you know marinate for a few minutes and come together so in the next five minutes when I come back I am going to show you what my ox day looks like guys so stay with me and let me show you how I do my Jamaican oxtail. This is my oxtail after five minutes, guys. This is what my oxtail look like in my pot. And I'm gonna leave this and keep stirring and turning until another 10 minutes. I'm gonna be doing this for another 10 minutes, guys. Just turning, going and turning and make sure that it's not being burnt or anything. I'm not gonna add any water as yet. So this is just what I'll be doing for the next 10 minutes. Just making sure that, you know, the oxtail is coming together. And I'm gonna place a cover over this and leave it. And then I'm gonna come back and keep turning and turning before I do the rest of the process. So stay with me guys. Yes, so this is just my oxtail in my pot. And I'm just going to go in and give it a spin. So it's hard to see the video because of the um, excess heat that's coming out of the pot. But as you know, I don't know if you guys can see, but yeah, see how my gravy is forming and it's becoming, you know, thick. So I'm going to leave it another three minutes and then I'm going to put a little bit of water in there and I'm going to start to pressure my oxtail guys. So that's just what I'm about to do. I'm going to leave it, cover it for like three to five more minutes and then I'm going to go in with a little water and then I'm going to put the top of my pressure cooker on. That's how I'll be cooking this well-known Jamaican meal. I'm just gonna go in with a little water to the side of the pot. You know, I don't, I'm not gonna be adding too much, too much. Guys, I have some juice leave off the um, oxtail that I already put in the pot. A little seasoning juice you know a little water and stuff so I just added that to it and just go in and give it a stir yes guys so I am just going to be putting let me taste the water yeah that's ready so I'm just gonna go in with the top of my pressure cooker. Did I show you guys how far I have the water? I guess not. So that's just the amount of water that I'll be using. And yes, yeah, so that's just the amount of water that I'll be using. And I'm just gonna go in and put my pressure cooker cover on. Yeah, and this is the weight or the lid or whatever you want to call it and you don't put it down and guys when you're angling your pressure cooker pot you want to make sure that um, your pot is tightly closed and before you can open this cover you have to make sure you turn off your stove and if you're in a rush like I am you can put it under the pipe and turn the cold water on or else you're gonna have to wait for a good time for the pot to be properly cooled down where you'll be able to open because guys if you open before it's cool then you're gonna have an explosion the whole thing is gonna fly out of the pot guys and that's not safe so remember safety when using your pressure cooker pot guys so I am going to be leaving this covered and as soon as it starts making that whistling sound guys then you know that you know your thing fully start you know cooking so what i'm gonna do at that time i'm gonna time it for like 12 10 to 12 to 15 minutes 
but I think I'm gonna check it like when it's like almost 15 minutes and then I will be showing you guys what my oxtail look like I will be tasting it and making sure that it's properly cooked or almost cooked and then I will show you the rest of the process when making your Jamaican oxtail guys stay with me it's been um, 15 minutes since my pressure cooker pot has been um, going and I've just turned it off and let it cool down and now um, I try the meat and it's still a little hard and I'm gonna just cover back my pressure cooker pot for another seven minutes and after that I'll come back and I show you what it looks like and see you know how it feels guys this is my oxtail and I have removed the top of the pressure cooker pot and my oxtail has been pressuring for 20 minutes guys so it took 20 minutes for the oxtail to become tender and yeah so I just removed the top of my pressure cooker pot and what I have here is my butter bean and you know this is just some um, bell pepper and a little onion and garlic and all the other seasoning that I use to um, season the um, oxtail and what I am going to do I am just gonna pour this all over my oxtail see this just gonna pour it all over my oxtail and make a little mix Yes, guys. So, yeah, I poured it all over the oxtail, and I'm just going and doing a little stir. And guys, you see that? Look at it. It's like magic, right? So the gravy is gonna start coming together a little bit more, and I'm gonna let this cook for ten more minutes, and then my Jamaican oxtail will be ready to be eaten guys so thank you i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna show you what it looks like and then i'm gonna show you what it looks like on a plate stay with me guys my oxtail is ready guys as you can see and this is what my oxtail looks like so this is my ready oxtail and guys it's very tender falling off the bone just the way i love it and yeah so the oxtail is ready guys i am going to put this on a plate so you guys can see my finished oxtail guys and see look at the texture of the gravy see that yeah wow gravy nice and thick and yeah so yes guys oxtail is ready My oxtail is ready guys. My oxtail is ready and I am serving my oxtail with some white rice and a little um, lettuce and tomato and I have two slices of apple and two slices of pear and this is what I'll be having for dinner today guys. Thank you for joining me today guys. Hope you enjoy my video. Please do remember like, comment, subscribe and hit that notification bell. So as soon as I upload a video, you guys will be able to see what I have cooked new in my kitchen. Thank you guys for joining me. Have a good day. Bye.